How's it going guys? My name is Haley and you're watching Broke Redneck. So for the past few days we haven't uploaded a video because we've been waiting to get this right and get enough footage in order to do this, but we're going to do a demolition video, a installing sheetrock video, and a painting video all in this one video and it's all in the living room which if you want to see what that looks like before we show you anything there'll be a link right up here to the walkthrough and tour which you can see the living room before we did anything to it at all so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you in a minute all right guys so this is what the living room looked like before we did anything to it so this is all of the old paneling that was on there all of the old paint that was on top of the paneling all kinds of stuff and this is, you know, the first day that we worked on this living room. So this is the demolition day, big day here. Alright guys, so this is when we started taking the popcorn texture off of the ceiling, and we just wanted a more glossier finish to it, and just a pro tip, do not wear a black shirt when you do this, because I guarantee you, you will not leave with a black shirt. So, this is going to be the difference we're showing you right here between the parts we've taken off and then the part that's still on there. So after we took the paneling off, we wanted to sand the old sheetrock down before we decided to paint over it. And just a pro tip, whenever you are sanding older sheetrock, this one specifically had a lot of glue on it from the paneling they had on it before. So just make sure you get all of it down so you won't have lines in your paint. And this is what it looked like at the end of the first day we did the demolition in the living room. As you can see, there's a lot of glue still left on the walls, and we just want to sand that down and get rid of it. But yeah, this is the end of the first day. Alright guys, so what we're doing here, since we've already sanded the walls, is we're going to go ahead and prime them. And just in case, you always want to prime them, even if you get a paint and primer combo, it's just better to prime them and then paint. Alright guys, so this was our second day working in the living room, and this was actually the end of the day. So on the walls we have two coats of primer, and I apologize for the camera focusing and unfocusing. We actually just got it, so we're trying to figure out the workings of it. That uh, wall right there actually has one coat of our final paint color on it, and uh, we ended up taking the sheetrock down on that wall right there, because it was just cracking and crumbling, and it just was not good to keep around. But this is with two coats of primer and the end of our second day. Alright guys, so this was the beginning of the third uh, day of remodeling the living room. So we're putting our first coat of our true color paint on there because our two coats of primer have dried. So this is going to be the first coat and then we're probably going to end up doing two or three just to be sure that you know everything looks okay.
All right, guys, so the first coat of paint is officially done. Uh, while this is drying, we are going to go grab some more sheetrock for this one spot right here because it, it needs to be replaced. As you can see, actually up here, it's starting to crack and just pull apart in different pieces. There's some of it on the ground right here. So we're just going to go ahead and replace that. And then by the time we get back and put that up, all this should be dry and then we can paint and prime this and then it'll time it'll be time for a second coat all the way around so let's go all right guys so actually what we had to do here is remove part of the window frame because sheetrock could fit behind it and <laughs> we could not get it to fit in there without taking this off <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see, we did forget that there is an outlet on the bottom right corner. So we had to actually measure how tall it is away from the ground and how far away it is from the side so we could cut that out on the sheetrock. Alright guys, so we ran into yet another problem with this specific sheet of sheetrock. Part of the window frame was actually sticking out too far and none of our power tools were working because we don't have power at the house and our generator died so we had to literally use a jigsaw blade to cut by hand that part of the windowsill off which was not, not very fun at all. But we did finally get it to fit in there after cutting that little piece off and it actually fits really nice. It's a nice snug fit. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what end of day 3 looked like on remodeling and demoing the living room. So we basically have one coat of our true paint on every wall except for the spot where we just replaced the sheetrock. We primed that already and we're going to let that dry overnight and by tomorrow we should have our second coat on every wall in the living room. I did prime the windowsills as you can see. I actually had to sand them down by hand again because our generator was not working, which <laughs> my arms are so sore, I'll tell you that much. But that is primed and ready to be painted white. And yeah, that is our progress so far on day three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a <laughs> decent long video, but a lot of information and I hope to see you guys next time.